What's happening YouTube? Back in the day gamer here. Thanks for tuning into my channel and today I'm coming at you with a quick list of the top 10 things I'm looking to pick up at the Midwest Gaming Classic. Now the real reason I'm making this video is because just over a year ago I saw a very similar video to this about the same subject. I had no idea what the Midwest Gaming Classic was. I looked it up, thought it sounded fun, so I decided to go and I made my own video in 2017. Due to that video, I met up with a lot of people, met some new friends, and had a great time. So I am looking to do the same thing times 10 this year. Speaking of 10, right here is the list of games I'm looking to pick up. Now, as you can tell, I'm going to make it quick because I don't want you stealing my list. There is way more than 10 games on this. But pretty much every game that I want to buy, I put on this list in order of system, alphabetized, even got the what the prices are going for now so I can do a little bit of haggling. Now, aside from every NES common I don't have, this is a rundown of the things I'm looking to get. Um, for the NES, I want to get Frankenstein. Never see that game. You know, it's uh, going for about $62. Looks like something I'd really like. I've wanted it for a while. Never see it. Hopefully I'll see it there. For the Super Nintendo, I want to pick up Breath of Fire 2, Marvel War of Gems. It's another game I wanted for a while. I never see. Uh, for the Game Boy, is a super uncommon import I'm looking for called For the Frog the Bell Tolls. It's an odd RPG game that I want to pick up. For Genesis, I would like Captain America and the Avengers really want to pick up Punisher and then Shining Force 2. So that's seven of the top games I'm looking, but the top three games I want to pick up, number three would be King Arthur and the Knights of Justice for the Super Nintendo. I recently saw uh, somebody post that on a video. It reminded me of the cartoon that came out a long time ago. I've never seen that game. It looked awesome, so I want to pick that up. Second place, I want Tetris, the Black Cart Tengen version. Now, aside from this, well, on this list, I've got seven more Tengen games I need to pick up to complete my Tengenitis. I've got seven more LJN games I need to pick up to complete that list to beat Captain Algebra, which I'm going to do. I'm going to get in line extra early before he even gets there. First thing I'm going to do is pick up those last seven LJN games so I can hold that over his head. But... The number one game I'm looking to pick up this year at the Midwest Gaming Classic is Ghost Lion for Nintendo. Yeah, the cover art, if I was better at editing, I'd put it right here, but you know what I'm talking about. It's like the 80s jazzercise chick hanging out with a lion. I don't know what that's about, but it's a pretty cool RPG. Never see that one either, and that is the number one pick I want to score this year. So, another thing I want to mention is that on my way there, I'm stopping off at the Galloping Ghost Arcade just outside Chicago, which is apparently the biggest arcade in America, if not the world, over 600 games. They're also going to be at the Midwest Gaming Classic, so I hope they don't take too many of those arcade cabinets over there. So, if you yourself are making your way to the Midwest Gaming Classic, keep an eye out for me in my Pac-Man suit. If you want to meet up, it shouldn't be hard to find me. Wherever they're selling video games, go to the closest bar, and that's where I'll be. So hopefully I see you there. If not, until next time, keep it retro!